in related developments. The Departments of Agriculture and Health are readying systems for the inspection of meats as the Christmas season approaches. During this time, there is an increase in the public consumption of meats and the heightened need for the production of safe products. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs and the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development have collaborated to host a training session aimed at increasing St. Lucia's capacity for surveillance and identification of zoonotic diseases. These diseases caused by germs spread naturally between animals and people. The partnership between the Veterinary Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture and the Environmental Health Unit of the Ministry of Health follows the One Health approach. Dr. Arya King-Snack, Director of Agriculture, speaking at the opening ceremony of the training exercise, explained the importance of this method to tackling national health threats. According to the World Organization for Animal Health, it is described as an integrated approach that recognizes the fundamental relationship and ensures that specialists in multi-sectorial work, work, sorry, multi-sectors work together to tackle health threats to animals, humans, plants, and the environment. The ongoing collaboration between the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Agriculture is one that must be strengthened as this allows us to make the best use of our limited resources. By working together, we can make sustainable improvements in our health system. The training program funded by the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, equipped participants with the competencies required to carry out post-mortem inspections of food animals. Deputy Chief Environmental Officer Cheryl St. Romain highlighted the pertinence of this proficiency as the demand for meat inspection increases during peak periods such as the Christmas season. St. Lucia, despite its size and geographical location, is not exempted from threats to health from foodborne diseases. The Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Services for the Environmental Health Division recognizes that its role to ensure the wholesomeness of meats for human consumption plays a pivotal role in not only ensuring economic viability, but most importantly, the safety of the meat and well-being of our people. Country Program Specialist for PAO, Reynold Unit, endorsing the One Health approach applauded the collaboration between the two ministries. He encouraged participants to capitalize on the training opportunity provided during a time when majority of health resources are targeted towards mitigating the COVID-19 pandemic. The sharing of skills and data can only make you more effective and efficient on the job. So the collaboration between these two sectors is essential to ensure that wholesome meat and meat products are provided for consumption. As meat inspectors, you must be able to identify satisfactory conditions for slaughter of animals, identify disease animals before slaughter, and of course, determine the conditions on post-mortem such as emphysema, tuberculosis, parasites, necrotic conditions, abscesses, and many more, which also include knowing the lymphatic system for meat inspection. Veterinary officers and environmental health officers, as you participate in this two week of training, I implore you and challenge you to pay attention to the information that is shared with you and practice the skills demonstrated. The training program for the surveillance and identification of zoonotic diseases ran from September 27 to October 1st, 2021. From the Government Information Service, Homedi Mark reporting.